Welcome to an InView video. Today we're going to go over some of the new designs that's in the library. Actually, one of the main cool new designs, which is a meter board. It's in our sign section. So let's just jump right in and see what we're talking about. So if I go and I click and I hold here, I get our display library. And uh, from here I can go in and you can see there's all kinds of resizable counter displays. Um, you know, we have tons of boxes, different displays. There's all kinds of... Um, Floor displays, you'll see just everything is resizable. It's all parametric. We have over 2,500 resizable boxes, designs, and displays. But let's go down in this new section where we've been expanding some of the um, signs that you'll see here. And so there's a lot of different signs that um, you can bring in and adjust. And so if we look at this meter board um, and we go look at the 3D real quick, you'll see that there's two different materials. This could be sign foam or some other corrugated material. And then you've got like a uh, regular corrugated base nor normally out of E-flute. So let's just unfold it real quick and um, you can see how it goes together. We play back through it and there's how it folds up. So let's just go ahead and open that up in InView. And in here, you're going to see that we've got the footer, the body. You know, here's our 3D of it. What we want to do real quick is just drop over Go to our properties and make sure that each of these use their own material. So uh, we don't use the same material for each drawing, but we want to use our own material. And let's just start kind of resizing this real quick. So if we look at uh, this here, we're going to make that for our sign. We want that to be like 30 inches by 60 inches tall. So what do we have now? We refresh that and zoom out. Now you can see that we've got a much bigger uh, board, but you know the the base is probably a little bit skinny to support that. So Let's come back to our footer. Notice it's already gotten wider. Let's change the uh, width on it. So let's make that to like, um, I don't know, say 18 inches. And then uh, take a quick look. You know, so okay, great. It's a lot wider, but not really tall enough. So let's take the foot and let's change that up to six inches. All right, so we'll refresh. And one of the things you'll notice in here is this gap is also auto adjusting. So if we go to the body and we look at the material, you can say, um, you know, there's a whole bunch of different options in here. You could pick one of the different options or you can even add in your own. If you're lazy like me, I'm just going to override the value. And I'm gonna, just to, to kind of show you how it changes, there's two inches thick. The body is adjusted so that the width's right. But, you know, most likely you've got like half inch sign foam or something. So... Let's come in here and I'm going to change that to 0.5, say OK. We'll double check our footer material. This is out of E-Flute Brown, which we're fine with. I mean, we could pick tons of materials that are already in the library or add your own, but we'll just say OK. And um, there we go. So we got our design. Let's go um, save this. So I'm going to hit uh, File, Save As, and let's call this... Uh, I'm going to call it meter board, and I was just playing around with this earlier. We'll make this three. Okay. So save, close out of InView, pop into AI. You got some graphics here already that I want to throw on and kind of show you. So because we have a plugin, we can go ahead and we can just open up. There's our meter board three that we just did. Say OK. So in here, you've got a, we're inside of Adobe Illustrator right now, but you got a full 3D view. Here's your uh, footer uh, die line, and then here is your um, sign that goes in there. So let's go grab our graphics. I'm just gonna drop a window around all these, copy them, come back over to this uh, other tab. We'll paste them out here. And you can actually see real time as we paste it in, if nothing's in the right spot, but it's, it's, it's already kind of starting to come to life. And so let's grab this um, blue rectangle that I have and we'll zoom in on that artboard for a second. And let's just start to first get the InView logo where we want it. So I'm going to drop that out and center it up. And you can see, you know, there it is. If we want to make it a little bit bigger, we can drag it out and, you know, maybe something like so. Once again, we'll center it up. I am not a graphic artist, by the way, but there we go. All right, and so now we've got our logo on there. Now, we're probably going to want one on the other side, so let's make a, a copy of this. We'll paste it. 
what's interesting see it's actually on the bottom at the moment and uh, then let's transform it and we're going to rotate all right so say okay 180 degrees same thing let's center it in here and right there now we've got our nice logo on either side so let's move up here zoom out a little bit and let's start to work on this design so we'll grab uh, our background drop it into place and you'll see there it is and let's put our nut jar in there you can kind of see where it's going maybe we want this logo down here and Let's just kind of see, maybe like so. So as we're working in real time, we can see it in 3D. Now we want some graphics on the uh, backside too. So we'll, I'm going to move this down so you can see it. My video is probably in the way. In view articles. Let's actually drop it, dock it down here. Okay. We'll stretch this back up so you can see our nice 3D. And so on the article here, let's take this body. And let's make a new artboard. Say OK. Now let's go back and look at our 3D. And we can start to now work on this other side. So let's make a copy of this guy. Copy. And we'll paste it over here. And now you'll be able to see there's our other side. We'll zoom in on this artboard. Make sure we got everything where we want. It's looking pretty good. So now you've got a nice two-sided meter board sign. And if you save this as an AI file, all the smarts and everything stay with it. Also, you can actually link over and edit in Package Designer in case you wanted to make some other changes. So now if we go back into Package Designer, you can see that we're in here. Everything's still resizable. You can turn on and off whether you want to show your uh, images or not. And we could create a nest. We could do bleed offsets, all that kind of fun stuff. But um, in this kind of case, we're just going to go drop back into uh, AI. The last thing we might want to do is we have our shared space. So let's just drop this up in shared space. So we'll say um, meter, oops, meter board nut sign. And when I hit upload, I could set some other settings. I can do the resolution, these kind of things. But um, this will go into the Amazon uh, Web Services. Uh, you get space with your subscription up there. And when we click on this, this will open up and you'll notice that we're in a browser right now. And so you get some space in here and you can see here is your uh, sign. So let's go ahead and uh, just play through it real quick so we can see how it's gonna fold up. But what's super cool about this is you can share this with your team. You can share this with your customer and they can interact with this real time. They can also come back, give feedback, approve, redesign, whatever they want to do. And you can send them this link or you can even put this QR code on a brochure or whatever. So the cool thing about doing this kind of design with parametrics inside of Adobe Illustrator is you can design in 3D. If your customer wants any changes, you need to change material thickness. You're not having to redesign everything. You're putting your focus into where you want to put your effort, and that's into the graphic design. But you're not having to spend all that time working on tweaking the die lines and making sure everything fold right and everything. We've done all that work for you. So hopefully uh, you've enjoyed this quick um, demonstration. And uh, if you'd like to learn more, go ahead and go to inview.com. So if you uh, let's go where we at here, inview.com. You go to um, our InView suite, and uh, if you come in here like to our subscription center or uh, multiple places, you can come in here and request a 10-day trial. When you click on one of these 10-day trial buttons and you fill out this form, somebody like myself will get a hold of you and uh, we'll help you learn more. You can get a test drive of the software, and we'd be happy to get you up and running. So thanks for taking time to watch this video. Look forward to working with you. Thanks.